to commemorate their victory, the Banyoro built a monument in Chijura town in Masindi municipality. However, the 148-year-old monument is fading away, and many of the younger Banyoro believe it's just an anthill. Our generation, the young generation, do not know, unless you invest yourself to, to just knowing what is it, or going there, uh, because there is, a, uh, there is some brief history. Mm. When you go there, you read the history and understand. This thing is uh, getting lost at the moment where we need, where the history of Monyoro is being removed from the curriculum. Haj Abdul Kazimbiraine, who is 80 years old, says with the government's help, such sites can be a source of income. If, say, for instance, they developed a, a hotel here for tourists, it, they, they, the people would be benefiting, but today they are not benefiting. All, all these people they are talking about is doing, uh, that they are going to, uh, to, to turn this country into a middle-income country, uh, into, a, into a middle-income state. They will never do them without people knowing this history. The area around the monument has already been encroached on, and Frank Businge, the county chief of Masindi municipality, says the kingdom is still struggling to restore its cultural sites. Uh, it's in plan. You know the king, the kingdom, as of now, is not the kingdom those days. Because we used to collect revenue, which we are not doing now. That in spite of that, we are trying to restore our culture and uh, our, our, uh, our uh, uh, monuments, wherever they are. Because you have to talk about Bunyoro first. And then you do what? You talk about Uganda. Because Uganda is a recent one. Bunyoro was. Businge encourages those who can write books to interest themselves in the monument so that Omka Makabarega's history does not die.